All right. So for this lesson, what we're going to talk about psychological price levels, areas of interest to pay attention to. When planning a trade, you really want to focus on psychological levels. And in many of my other videos, you guys have heard me talk about when looking at charts and looking at stocks, it's all in the way you look at the chart. And we all look at charts differently some people when they look at technical analysis they try to be too technical with it there's nothing technical about technical analysis i'll say that right now the way you should be looking at these charts look at these charts as if it's art we're all gonna look at it differently we're all gonna see things that other people don't see you're gonna spot patterns that people overlook. All of us have different sets of eyes. We're all going to see things that other people don't see. Doesn't matter who you are. That's why it's kind of hard to teach somebody a strategy that, let's say I created a trading strategy that works for me. It's kind of hard to teach that to other people because they're not going to be naturally looking for that pattern as if I am and my eyes are trained to look for. What we're going to talk about in this lesson is areas of interest and levels when developing a trading plan. So we know in the market, when looking at prices, and a little fun fact, back in the day, they used to look at, they wouldn't say prices, they would use it as points and fractions. So if a stock moved up 25 cents, they would say it moved up a quarter or a fourth or two fourths, three fourths. They used to use fractions. When looking at stock charts and prices, you want to be looking in intervals of every 25 cents, every 50 cent, every 75 cent. And every one dollar just like penny stocks if a stock is under one dollar let's say it's at 75 cents and it's coming up to that big psychological level one dollar the stock is officially going from a penny stock to the one dollar club it's entering into the dollar land club one dollar and then just like stocks from a dollar to nine dollars they come up to that next big psychological level what is it ten dollars it's then going from a single digit stock in dollar land to a two digit stock and then from ten dollars all the way up to ninety nine dollars a stock is going to the three digit land the three digit club one hundred dollars kind of just like what tesla did today and yesterday tsla is the ticker symbol we'll blow up the one minute chart here and you could see i have a green line on plotted on this chart right at one thousand you could see we'll scroll in on the last two days of trading, Tesla was under that $1,000. It's in the three digit club, 990 some dollars. All day it ran up and it tops out just under that $1,000 level. That's gonna act as a natural resistance. That's a huge psychological barrier for this stock to get through. And then fast forward into today, Tesla comes up to that $1,000, gets a little micro pullback, it's gearing up, and then it blows up through that $1,000, it's testing it, it gets denied, comes back down, comes right back up, and it holds it right there, support at $1,000, builds up off of that $1,000, continues to rip up over that 1000 and it's been hitting highs ever since same thing all applies to small cap stocks large cap stocks medium cap stock now let's take a look at muln for example this stock is at around three dollars a share it's in small cap land we'll zoom in on yesterday's trading action we're going to draw out our line right here at three dollars you could see that the stock was in and out of that three dollar level there all day right some people they're gonna base their support in resistance they're gonna say resistance was up here at 320 support is down here at two dollars and 83 cent and they'll pinpoint it to the exact price the way i look at it 
I'm not trying to stress myself out over pinpointing exact prices. I want to just focus on levels, levels of interest. So from $3, I want to see how a stock acts at around that three bucks and $3, the general area, it can range from $3 up to $3.05, $3.10, $3.15, Anything above that, we're getting into the 325 psychological area, 325 up here. So from 315, I'll put a line there. That's the $3 level. And then all the way down to the $2.95, $2.90, That's still considered the $3 general area. So that's a big range right here for this stock to be in that three dollar level so if we were developing a plan for muln at that three dollar level to make things easier let's put a risk down below at 275 for example we'll get out a green line we'll draw a support at 275 which would have been right there 275 as this stock's up at $3, we put our stop loss just below $275. We're giving the stock room to breathe and move, do its thing, let it play around at that 3 bucks. Because how many times have you put together a plan at a whole dollar level and you've tried putting a stop at $2.90, trying to give it some room to move and then get stopped out and then the stock would come back and then run without you and it would just play mind games with you because you've seen what was happening but you let price action get to you and take you out now this is where you got to kind of get strategic with it and you got to determine your size what size do you feel comfortable for this type of stock with it being a three dollar stock you're not really going to see explosive one dollar two dollar moves the lower a stock is in price the less volatile it's going to be so i have a saying a stock from a dollar up to five dollars on average they like to move about 50 cent 25 cent on average and then stocks from five to ten fifteen dollars they like to move on average about a dollar dollar fifty two dollars and then stocks above twenty dollars they could skip dollars so knowing the volatility of a stock and in the price range that it's at how volatile it could be a stock at three bucks you're not going to see explosive really huge moves like for example real quickly a l l g for example look at the explosive moves here on a l l g one candle here from eleven dollars and fifty cent this thing ripped up to twelve fifty right here it was from thirteen fifty it ripped up to fifteen fifty that's a two dollar range on a one minute candle so it's super volatile this stock is and you gotta adjust your share size and be strategic on how volatile the stock is this is all the thinking you have to put into all of this stuff as a trader you got to put together your size, how volatile the stock is, how much it can move up and down, your psychological price levels. And you, you may be thinking right now, like, dude, this is a lot of overwhelming stuff you're unloading on me. All do with practice and repetition, a routine of doing this. You're going to get better and faster at it. Of course you're going to be slow and this is all going to be overload on your brain right now it's a lot of stuff to take in back to muln back to yesterday we said we put together a plan yesterday on muln we said hey if we can hold up at that three dollar level and build up off of three this could run up to 350s this stock consolidated all day and People may even be saying, yeah, this stock wedged out right here. You could draw a perfect wedge on it. It wedged out all day. You could draw all kinds of wedges on this thing. I mean, wedges happen 
within wedges. There's all kinds of wedges, triangles that naturally occur in the stock market. They're everywhere. But focusing on that $3 and you put your risk down below $275, give the stock room to breathe and move. This stock ran up from 3 to 360s up there, pulled all the way back down, bounced off of $3. There's your second opportunity. And then today, rips right back up to that 350s again and it's kind of ironic it tops out there at that three dollars and fifty cent and when you start focusing on these psychological levels even when it bottomed right there at three dollars and 25 cent you'll notice you can easily put together trading plans you're not stressing out over exact prices you're giving stocks room to move up and down we'll look at another example real quick today on clf or clrn cyrn for cyrn you scroll out on this you could see the stock's been active volatile and in play three days ago the stock ripped from five 80s all the way up to a high of ten dollars pulls back and then right at this eight dollars 750 we rip up to 950s there's opportunity on this chart right there's opportunity there so what you should be doing is going back putting it together candle by candle from price levels how did it get from here at five dollars and 25 cent up to here at 1025 go back and look at yourself at you're an investigator put it the story together there's a story to be told it's just a battle between bulls and bears it's all it is so we'll scroll in here today we said if we can hold up at that eight dollar level there and continue to build we could definitely see this stock rip to the upside we've draw out our line at eight bucks you know again you can see the stocks in and out of that eight bucks right but this bottom down here 772 it put in its day low it rips up to a high of 825 pulls back to 789 right there retest its high pulls down to right here 778 so 775 is right there not once besides the first five minutes of the day did it break below that 775 for us as traders i don't trade the first five ten minutes of the market open i like to let the markets open up let them settle down and see what opportunities present themselves but based off of that eight dollar level i'm not stressing myself out i'm giving a stock room to move up and down the stock never came down below that 775 and from there sets up a wedge triangle what do you know at around that eight dollar level and even when it ran up this morning to 820s and it quickly crumbled down to 780s that's a 40 cent downfall right there that could have easily easily freaked out somebody you got to focus on the big picture at hand what's going on it's building off of that eight and even right here building off of that eight buck and you get a nice rip up to eight sixties that's a nice 50 60 cent run right there just building off of that eight dollar level it may seem a bit complicated but when you zoom out on these charts and just focus on those levels you'll truly start to see if a stock has strength or weakness